With the help of the CDC and the World Health Organization, you and I can together eliminate childhood-related Halloween pumpkin carving injuries. Hi there, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thanks for coming and checking out my channel today. Um, today, I'm going to be talking about safety with Halloween activities and pumpkin carving. Um, every year, there's hundreds of deaths and very bad injuries to children who carve pumpkins without adult supervision. And I would just like to bring to light how much of a problem this has become in the United States of America. Today, I have my really stupid friend, Jimmy, here. And he's been um, designated and self-designated to help us out with demonstrating some of the injuries you can sustain from trying to carve your own pumpkin. Last year alone, there were at least 460 knife-related injuries after carving pumpkins by children. This year, we expect those numbers to grow. Let's get started, shall we? Please don't forget to like and subscribe. One of the most common injuries someone can sustain is a knife injury. Here's a carving knife. So say you're a little kid and you're going to carve your pumpkin. You're holding the pumpkin and oops, you cut the tip of your thumb off. Look how sharp this knife is. It's, it would go through, if it goes through a pumpkin, it'll definitely go through your stupid little kid's fingers. Now, I also gave my son a Dremel for Christmas last year. He turned five and I figured it was time for him to learn some responsibility. One of the problems with these types of tools though is they cut pumpkins easily as well. Watch this. It's like pumpkin pie. In one case last year, one of the children accidentally cut his own nose off. Let me demonstrate for you what that must have been like. Now Jimmy isn't exactly screaming because he's not real, but other people have real kids. This has been a public service announcement with Darthler. If you don't want your kids to end up like this, this year, consider investing in a spoon. A spoon for carving will work wonders. If you don't believe me, just watch. See, spoons can carve pumpkins too. Let's not make waste of this and let's cut his head open to see what it looks like on the inside. Let's all thank Jimmy again for being such a cooperative person. The Dremel's not working, so let's try something different, huh? Okay, that's not working, let's try a hatchet. Well, as you can see, tools can be very dangerous when people are trying to carve pumpkins. I would suggest just using a marker, maybe, as a spoon even can be a deadly weapon. As you'll see here, Jimmy's face is gone. I encourage you to like this, subscribe, and share this with all the other parents in the world, or your kid could end up like this. And I really, really, really don't want that to happen. Goodbye, and have a happy, and safe All Hallows' Eve.